hi welcome back in this video I will discuss depth first search algorithm with a simple solved example also I will discuss what are the advantages and disadvantages of DFS algorithm so first we will see the depth first search algorithm in the first uh, step we will uh, check whether the initial state is the goal state that is uh, we want to go from initial state to goal state if the initial state is already a goal state what we do is uh, we will quit and then we will return as a success otherwise we will do the following uh, uh, steps unless and until we reach either the success or the failure is signaled what we do is uh, we will generate a successor e of the initial state so we have in initial state we will find the successor of that particular initial state and uh, we will say it as e uh, if we don't have any uh, successor the meaning is uh, we have not reached the goal state so we will return the failure in this case if we have a successor that is e what we do is uh, we will call this particular depth first search algorithm with e as the initial state now so previously initial state uh, is the first state we got the successor of that particular initial state that is e now e has become the initial state until and unless we reach that particular goal state we go on calling this particular depth first search recursively in this manner if the success is written the meaning is we have reached the goal state otherwise uh, what we do is uh, we will return this particular thing again and again over here now we will take a very simple example to understand this uh, DFS algorithm so this is the graph uh, given to us where A is the initial state G is the goal state we have multiple number of uh, goal states here you can find 1 2 3 and 4 goal states here so initially what we do is uh, we will put this uh, initial state that is A into the node list now uh, we will try to find the successors of uh, A that is uh, B and C so A is removed from node list B and C will be added here now once you add B and C what we do here is uh, we will get the first uh, successor that is B here now this B will become the initial node here because B is the initial node what we do we will check whether initial node is a goal node or not because B is not a goal node what we do here is uh, we will find the successors of B here what are the successors of B the successors of B are D and E so what we do we will add D and E into this particular node list by removing this particular B here now the node list will look D E C here again we will take the first uh, element from this particular uh, node list that is D we will check whether D is a goal node D is not a goal node hence what we do is we will remove it from node list and then we will add the successors of uh, D into the node list at its place that is C and F now it looks something like this C F E C now again uh, we will take the first element from the node list that is C C is not a goal node so we will get the successors of C that is G here so we will remove this particular C at the place of C we will put G here now it will become something like this again we will get the first element from the node list that is G we will check whether G is the goal node because G is the initial node right now we will check whether it is a goal node also because G and uh, goal node are one another same the meaning is we have reached the goal node in this case and the path to be followed is A to B, B to D, D to C and C to G in this case so this is what the process we need to follow in a DFS algorithm uh, so that we can go from initial state to goal state in this case now we will see uh, some of the advantages and disadvantages of uh, DFS algorithm the advantages of DFS algorithm are the DFS search requires uh, less memory since only the nodes on the current path are stored you just see here in this case uh, what has happened is uh, whenever we go from A to G on this particular path whatever the nodes are there only they were uh, what we can say that uh, saved into the memory but if you see the BFS algorithm what actually happens is uh, if the goal node is present here we should reach each and every node before this particular level for example if the goal node is present on this level we have to reach all these particular nodes then only we can reach this particular goal node here 
so that was the disadvantage of uh, bss algorithm but in dfs we will reach only those nodes which are present on the current path you can say so that is the one advantage because of that it needs less memory here the depth first search may find solutions without examining much of the sp search space at all again the same thing because uh, we found this particular g without visiting many of this particular what you can say that the states here so that's an advantage of uh, dfs algorithm or bfs algorithm but uh, it does have uh, disadvantages the first disadvantage is uh, we may find uh, we can say that sub optimal uh, solution using dfs algorithm the meaning of this one is uh, whatever the uh, path we find we may get uh, it is uh, uh, the deepest uh, can say that the path or most more costly path you can see in this case only again you can see here uh, the path from a to g is a to b b to d d to c and c to g this is the path we got and the cost will be definitely more because we have to cross uh, four nodes so that we can reach this particular goal uh, node or state here but actually if you see this particular side a to c c to g is actually the one more goal node we have here so this is the best uh, solution because it uh, finds what you can say that the nodes on the current path we have to uh, go from a to g if we don't have anything then we have to go to the next one then next one then next one so the advantage is it will it needs a minimum uh, memory but the disadvantage is it will give you sub optimal uh, solution in this case the second one is it's incomplete the meaning of this one is uh, without a depth bound one may not find the solution even if it exists so that's a one more problem bfs is a complete because it will find the solution if there is a solution i hope uh, this video will help you for your exams preparation if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching